Code 8. The deputy will become clan leader when the leader dies or retires. At the dawn of the clans, new clan leaders were chosen from the kin of the previous leader. Often their kits, but sometimes their litter mates or their kits as kits. Leaders were well respected he, enough that their kin was respected too by the whole clan. And it seemed the easiest way to choose a new head of the clan. But not all cats follow their kin and skills and temperament. And as you will see, not every new leader was well suited or well received. Follow my leader. The air stilled until the trees were silent, and the only sound was the splash of water over stones. The brown tabby cat lay in the shelter of thick ferns, his breathing so shallow that his flank barely stirred. Robin Wing, he rasped. Yes, I'm here, Beach Star. Beach Star. Robin Wing leaned closer, refusing to flinch away from the stench of death that clung, already clung to the old cat's fur. Your clan is safe. The tip of Beach Star's tail twitched. They won't be safe for long. River Clan will not be content with my death. Sky Clan must attack again before they do. Take the battle into their territory <coughs> this time and make sure we win. Hush, father, urged Moth Pelt. Get some rest and we'll take you back to the camp tomorrow. This is my final rest, Beach Star whispered. My ninth life is slipping away. My warrior ancestors are already waiting for me. His milky blue gaze focused on a point past them. Robin Wing instinctively turned to look, but there was nothing except trees and bracken. I come, my friends. Wait just one moment longer. With an effort, Beach Stir dragged his gaze back to the black and brown cat beside him. Leader Clan Well, Moth Pelt. Make me proud as I watch you from Star Clan. Father! No! Moth Pelt yowled, but the leader's eyes were closing now, and his legs relaxed as he surrendered his final life. Robin Wing exchanged an agonized glance with a third cat watching the tragic scene. Maple Whisker, Sky Clan's deputy. He knew she shared his concerns about Moth Pelt as a leader. They had shared the nursery with him, trained side by side to become warriors, and seen him struggle to mentor a succession of apprentices. Maple Whisker fell in beside Robin Wing as they, um, walked back to the camp to fetch the elders who would bury Beach Star. No cat can doubt his loyalty to Sky Clan and the memory of his father, she pointed out, even though Robin Wing hadn't said a word. And he fought as bravely as any of us yesterday, especially after his father fell. Robin Wing didn't, Robin Wing didn't reply. He wanted to give Moth Pelt a chance to show he could lead the Sky Clan. For the sake of his clanmates, they were still at war with the River Clan over the territory on the Sky, Sky Clan side of the river, and he needed to be at least as strong and wise as his father. He will need our support. Maple Whisker went on. Robin Wing glanced sideways at her. Even if we don't agree with him? Maple Whisker flicked her ears. He's our leader now. Star Clan will guide his paws. Let all cats old enough to fetch their own prey get, gather here for a clan meeting. It was raining hard, and Moth Pelt had to raise his voice to be heard above the thundering of water through the trees. His father had been buried the day before, and he would be going to the Moonstone to receive his nine lives and his new name that night. Cats of Sky Clan, my father's last wish was that we take the battle to River Clan's side of the river and prove once and for all that Sky Clan cannot be beaten, Moth Pelt declared. There were yowls of support from the cats huddled below the branch where he balanced. Robin Wing kept quiet. He was wondering what the river looked like at, after all the rain. Moth Pelt leaped down from the branch and ran to the entrance of the camp, his tail waving. I will lead my warriors into battle to honor my father, who is the greatest leader Sky Clan has ever known. And who would know better than to set out before checking the height of the river, Robin Wing thought. The warriors streamed out of the camp, apprentices racing to keep up without tripping over branches, brought down by the weight of sodden leaves. Storms this late in Greenleaf were dangerous because water wasn't the only thing to fall from the sky. Robin Wing dropped back to give his own apprentice a shove from a, over a slippery tree trunk. Rubble Paw's fur was slick to his sides, black with rain and streaked with mud and, scrapes, uh, and scraps of moss. 
Rubble Paul looked up at Robin Wing and blinked raindrops from his eyes. I feel like I'm going to drown before I get to the river, he spluttered, and I'm afraid you'll drown when you get there. You're doing great. Just follow the warriors, Robin Wing told him. Picking up his pace, he squeezed past the other cats until he was at the front, next to Maple Whisker. What do you think the river is like today, he asked as quietly as he could between panting for breath. She gave a tiny shake of her head. We'll see when we get there. Suddenly they burst out of the trees and their paws crunched on pebbles that sloped steeply down to the edge of the water. Robin Wing stopped and stared in horror. The river was swollen to twice its size and the shore was no more than a narrow strip of, than a narrow strip of pebbles, barely a fox length wide, and the crossing stones were marked only by flashes of white water where the waves broke over the top. Sky Clan attack! he yelled Moth Pelt, rushing toward the river. Robin Wing glanced at Maple Whisker, who looked as horrified as he felt. River Clan wouldn't need to fight them. They could just sit on the far bank and watch the flood water carry the Sky Clan cats away. Beach Star would not have wanted his clan to die like this. Moth Pelt! Stop! Robin Wing screeched. He flung himself across the stones and brought his clan leader crashing down, careful to keep his claws sheathed. What in the name of Star Clan? spat Moth Pelt. Robin Wing, let me go! Since when were you such a coward? Robin Wing let his leader stand up, but positioned himself between Moth Pelt and the river. Behind the leader, the Sky Clan, the Sky Clan cats lined up, their expressions ranging from angry to bewildered to relieved. I won't let you cross the river, Robin Wing meowed. It's too dangerous. Get out of my way, Moth Pelt growled, or have you turned traitor and joined River Clan? I am as loyal to Star Clan as I ever was, Robin Wing replied, keeping his voice even. Mm -hmm. Too uh, loyal to watch my clanmates drown before they have a chance to fight. We can fight this battle another day. No, this battle will be fought now before the memory of my father fades in our hearts. His death must be avenged. Not if it means other Sky Clan cats die, Robin Wing protested. But Moth Pelt was already pushing past him and plunging into the water. Almost at once a wave broke over his head and he disappeared. But then he bobbed up further into the river, his ears twitching as he, as he struck out for the first crossing stone. White water spat in his face, but screwed up his eyes and, and clung to the rock with his claws until he could drag, them, drag himself onto it and stand belly deep in churning foam. Come on, he yelled. All those Sky Clan cats who wish to avenge your, our leader's death, follow me! Robin Wing watched helplessly as at least half of his fellow warriors and their apprentices ran past him and splashed into the river. No! he yowled, watching as they floundered in the icy water. Robin Wing turned to face Maple Whisker, ready to reading in her eyes as she was torn between loyalty to her leader and fear for her clanmates in the swollen river. It looks like m it looks like Moth Pelt is all right for now, as long as he stays on that rock. Robin Wing meowed. We'll have to get the others out before they go under. The cats who hadn't rushed into the river were creeping for their eyes huge as they watched their clanmates struggle. struggle. Rub Rubble Paw came up to Robin Wing. We have to help them, he gasped. Yes, we do, Robin Wing agreed. Maple Whisker, do you agree? She nodded. Warriors and apprentices of Sky Clan, she called in, dressing the cats on the shore. Our clanmates are in danger, are in danger from the flooded w river. No cat must go into the water without having two other cats and in a chain behind. No apprentices must go near the water. Rescue the cats closest to the shore first. Don't take unnecessary risks. She glanced at Robin Wing. Do you think that'll work? Definitely. He touched her shoulder with the tip of his tail, wanting to know how proud he was of her right now. I'll form a chain with Rubble Pond and Spider Pelt. You stay on the shore and watch for out for cats who need help most quickly. He watched her run along the shore, encouraging cats to join into chains. Then he flicked his tail to Spider Pelt. Come on, you take my tail and Rubble Paw will take yours. Ready! Robin, uh, Robin Wing called, and the other cats nodded. Taking a deep breath, he jumped over a wave and landed him. Um, landed up to his chin in the icy cold water. He flailed his legs, pulling himself toward the middle of the river. On either side of him, other other warriors did the same. Their necks strained to keep their muzzles. Above the surface, a red-brown shape bobbed on the other side of the wave. Robin Wing held his breath as the wave swept over his head and struck out toward the shape. 
It was Squalfer. His eyes were closed, and he looked exhausted as he battled to, to stay afloat. Don't struggle, Robin Wing panted before biting deep into Squirrelfur's squirrel scruff. At once he felt his tail being tugged, and he was pu pulled back toward the shore, dragging Squirrelfur with him. Maple Whisker was standing belly deep at the edge of the river. He grabbed Squirrelfur's squirrel for scruff on the other side, and nodded to Robin Wing that he had a firm that she had a firm hold on him. Robin Wing plunged back into the river. One more warrior and two apprentices, uh, apprentices soon stood shivering on the bank, with Rubble Paw glaring sideways at them as if he held them responsible for his mentor risking his life to save them. You've done enough, Maple Whisker urged Robin Wing as he crouched down the stones, coughing up river water. He shook his head. I have to fetch Moth Pelt, he gulped. The leader was still clinging to the crossing stone, watching silent and wide-eyed as his climates were rescued from the angry river. Robin Wing knew he would uh, be too cold and exhausted to make it back to the shore without help. Promise me one thing, he meowed. Maple Whisker looked puzzled. Promise me that you'll be the new leader of Sky Clan. I can't do that, Maple Whisker protested. You have to, and with the support of your clanmates, you will, Robin Wing told her. He flicked his tail up the cats around them, staggering onto the dry land with grateful glances at their deputy for organizing the, re the rescue patrol. I'll support you, Spider Pelt offered. And me, Rubble Paw put in. Our clan mates aren't mouse brained, uh, Robin Wing murmured. They respected you as their deputy, and they'll respect you as your, our leader, and they'll respect Moth Pelt as a warrior. Maple Whisker looked once more at her sodden clan mates. Then nodded, and I'm not mouse brain enough to think that my clan doesn't need me. If Moth Pelt, if Moth Pelt agrees, then I'll lead Sky Clan. In that case, we'd better fetch him. Robin Wing meowed. He glanced at Spider Pelt and Rubble Paw. Ready? Lead on. Spider Pelt meowed, and Robin Wing plunged back into the waves. Sky Clan would be safe under Maple Star's uh, leader, uh, under Maple Star's leadership, and Robin Wing would uh, suggest that a uh, suggest that a new rule be introduced to the Warrior Code. That deputies replaced leaders when they lost their ninth life, as the cat, cat's most used to leader to leadership and dealing with rival clans.